Hello friends, my name is Amit. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is the first video that I am recording in English. So I hope you will understand my English because I have a weak English, right? And let me try to explain this strategy because I was getting requests from a lot of you people to explain this strategy in English. So I'm trying my best and will try to give you whatever I know about this strategy. So without wasting much time, let's start. Okay, so uh, basically this strategy is based on one indicator that is called EMA 20, 50, 100, 200, right? So how to plot this indicator? This is uh, the TradingView website, right? I hope you are aware of this. If not, then I'll just tell you how to load this uh, TradingView website. First of all, I'll uh, just go to google.com, right? And uh, in the google.com, I'll uh, search for this TradingView, right? and uh, once i click on uh, trading view right i'll search this the first link that i'll get is of the trading view that is https colon double backslash in dot trading view.com right once i click this the first link uh, uh, that i'm getting once i click this i'll get this page of trading view.com right so uh, i have already logged in because you can see my login here right in case if you wanted to see any chart you have to go to the chart section right let's say i wanted to see the chart of uh, 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 bharti airtel right i just double click on this either right this is the way i can uh, load a chart right i'll click here on this button then the bharti airtel chart will get loaded on the screen right I'll just remove all the indicator as of now so that I'll be able to explain you how to load the indicators in this. So I'm just teaching this strategy from the beginning itself so that you are able to understand it in a better way. Right. So I have removed all the drawings and all. So now I have uh, loaded the chart of Bharti Airtel that is one of the company which is uh, listed on the National Stock Exchange of India. Right. So uh, to plot this indicator, first of all, this is a raw chart, right? This is a raw price action chart, which says that price is moving from this uh, uh, point to this point, but I'm not able to understand how the price is moving. So hence I need one indicator, which will help me to understand is the price is, is in the uptrend or in the downtrend, right? Is the price going up or it is going down to see that I load one indicator that's called EMA. 20 50 100 200 which is easily available in the indicator section right in the indicator section i have an option to search i'll just search here ema space 20 oblique 50 oblique 100 oblique 200 right so once i enter this the first option i'll get that is uh, uh, the first indicator i'll get this this ema 20 50 100 200 which has been created by dr sweets right so i'll just click this indicator this is the first indicator that I am loading. The strategy is purely based on this indicator. And the second indicator I use as a reference is a relative strength, right? Relative strength index, right? So I'll just click on this. So by default, by default on this relative strength, you will get this 4, 14 period card relative strength. And in the styles, you get 70 and 30 for which I have already changed it to 60 and 40 because I use this as an unconventional RSI, right? So this, these are basically the two indicators which I use for the strategy of this EMA 20, 50, 100 and 200. So many of the people refer this strategy as a golden gate, as a sangam, as a moving average convergence and many people have named it in a different way. But the usage and the application of this indicator is similar, right? So I'll just explain you how to read this indicator first of all. Okay. So this is the Bharti Airtel chart, which is on the daily time frame, right? This is a place where you can change your time frame from one minute to 12 months, or you can define your own range in case if you have a paid version of uh, uh, trading view. As of now, I am not having any paid version. I am having the basic version, which is a free version. And on this, I have loaded the chart of Bharti Airtel and the, I have selected the time frame, let's say monthly. I'll, I'll select the monthly time frame of the uh, company called Bharti Airtel. What it indicates me that Bharti Airtel has uh, uh, been moved from this price, let's say 260 uh, price to 895 in the span of uh, from March 19 to 2023, right? So in last four years, this pr Bharti price has been moved from this price to this price. So I'll just move this chart to the daily time frame to change the interval. Either I can type 1D or I'll just select the one day from here, right? So to explain this, 
uh, its importance i'll just tell you how to use uh, this uh, strategy right so let's come to the basic part of the strategy uh, uh, let's take the chart of bharti airtel and now what we can see here is the first uh, uh, line this represented uh, this represents the 20 ema on the chart the first line is 20 ema second line is 50 ema third line is 100 ema and the fourth line is 200 ema ema means exponential moving average which calculates the average of the price but exponentially right that means it gives the preference to the nearest price which was created right so basis this indicator once we plot this indicator we will be able to see this indicator in this fashion right so what the primary uh, usage of this indicator is we wanted to see the contraction in the price right so price has been contracted or not this we can see with the help of this indicator right so this point we can say that the price was contracted and from this point it started moving upwards right so once we have this contraction in place we can just draw a dropping trend line from here right i just connect the uh, uh, highs on the uh, chart which says that the price was created uh, high on this particular date that is 3rd of feb and then it fell and then again it tried to go up on 10th of may but it was not able to go up and then here again on 16th of july it again tried to go up but it was not able to go up but on all these three instances the price took support on the 200 ema that means it was working at the contraction of this 200 ema on daily time frame right so we will be focusing on the price as well as on the 200 ema right and the rest emas will support that so what the scenario we want is the rest of the three emas that is 20 50 and 100 ema should land on 200 ema and after that the price should give breakout along with ema of course ema is a lagging indicator it will go up uh, after some time but the price will immediately show the reaction right so once we uh, plot this indicator and we see that the price is trying to land on this 200 ema as well as other uh, emas like 20 50 and 100 emas are landing on this they are not crossing it and then going up right they are just landing it and after taking support at the 200 EMA, they are going up, right? So once we drew this line, the dropping trend line connecting the highs, the lower highs, right? And price is taking support. The Once the price breaks out, how do we confirm the price is breaking out? By two methods, by three methods, basically. Number one is the breakout of this dropping trend line, right? Number two, we can see the RSI is crossing 60 uh, uh, levels, right? 60 levels, it, it crossed here. We can see at this price it crossed 60 levels right and at the same time we will also use volume as an indicator so volume is a default indicator which you will get once you load the chart so volume uh, you can add it from the indicator i have added the volume here i can see the volume was increased at this particular day right this day 28th of uh, july 2021 price broke out of this contraction right it also broke out from the nearest resistance which is this so this particular day 28th of july 2021 price broke out on the upper side taking support at 200 ema with the help of volume because volume was increased on this particular day and rsi also crossed 60. so after this i mean after 20th of july you can see how price went up right so if you take this trade and if you let's say take uh, some of your quantity basis your risk to reward in case if you don't know about risk to reward i have already created the video on risk to reward how to manage that so once you take any trade this is this strategy and let's assume you enter at this price that is 557 let's say 560 price you have entered and you kept the stop loss of 200 ema which is 513 so your target would be one ratio three that means if you are taking the risk of 100 rupees you should target at least 300 rupees out of this trade right so you can see if i enter at uh, 560 price and i keep the target of 513 i can easily see that i have achieved one ratio three target here in case if you are uh, a bit weak in max you can just plot this indicator which i have uh, shown you just now this indicator you can find it on this toolbox right which is on the left hand side of the page right this long position is a indicator which you can plot right and just plot it just place it here uh, your entry price and your stop loss uh, will be near 200 ema or 200 ema and your target would be one ratio three you can see here this price has achieved one ratio 
4.73 right you can see this has almost achieved one ratio five but we are targeting only one ratio three risk to reward trades right so this is one of the trade that i have personally taken in the past hence i remember this right i can show you various examples which will help you to understand this uh, strategy in a better way right i just take another example of grave stones right grave stones cotton and uh, this chart and i have taken this trade on three hour time frame i'll just show you right i just go on that particular date uh, on which i have taken the trade in the past just give me a minute i'll just zoom out the chart and i'll show you how i have entered right so this is a place where this uh, price has taken the support see on three hour time frame so this strategy basically works on all the time frames uh, uh, in bharti airtel i have given you the example of uh, daily time frame on this graves cotton i'm giving an example on three hours time frame so you can see price started moving up from this uh, price and then it went up to 101 right then it came down dire dire slowly it came down right and then it took support on 200 ema and here you can again draw a dropping trend line right you can draw a dropping trend line which states that this is a high price made then it came down then again it tried to go up but it was not able to go up this uh, uh, took the resistance as 96 rupees then again it went down took support from 200 EMA again it tried to go up it was not able to go up again it took the support on 200 EMA that means on 200 EMA price should take at least support twice right and then it gave a breakout here at this particular price on uh, 12th of Feb at 9.15 right 12th of Feb 2021 price broke out from this area right this contraction area this is a contraction area right this contraction area is known as the golden gate or EMA contraction or Sangam, whatever the name you call it. But it is just a contraction of EMAs on that particular stock, right? So from this area, it broke out with volume, with uh, uh, Marubuzu candle and with uh, uh, RSI as a 60 cross, right? And then after that, you can see it didn't give us a 1 ratio 3 target, but it gave us almost 1 ratio 10 car target from this price, right? So let's see another example that I took in the past, which is of the company called Parimal Enterprise. This was on four hours time frame. This is what I remember, right? Let's go back to this chart. I'll just zoom out this chart. I'll just take you to the place where I took this trade. And you can see the similar setup, which we have seen just now in Gravestone on uh, uh, um, three hours time frame. The similar setup was created on four hours time frame. This is the uh, place where it got a, a breakout with crossing rsi 60 as well as the price uh, uh, broke out from the nearest resistance this was the nearest resistance which uh, price broke with a good volume candle right and after that it fired like anything and it easily gave us the target of one ratio three i'll show you one more example that is monte carlo fashion on daily time frame see i'm showing you all the latest examples which i can remember on which i have personally taken trades in the past right so this is the area i'll just show you this is the area right from this price it got uh, breakout right this price has tried here in fact rsi uh, also went up with a good volume uh, uh, breakout but it was not sustained it it didn't break the high of this candle this candle broke the high and after this we would have taken the entry in fact i have taken the entry here and this was my stop loss at 270 and i easily traded this up to one ratio three target right you can see how price moved from that uh, particular breakout this is a recent example you would have seen my recent uh, video which i create on a weekly basis this is the example i have taken recently right and uh, on 30 minutes time frame i have taken the trade this was the place where i have already marked the breakout in case if you have not seen my recent videos you can easily see that in fact i what i remember i have already uh, uh, posted this on the community post as well uh, the time of giving this breakout right so this price gave a breakout this was on the 30 minutes time frame same or similar setup was created price took a support on 200 ema and then it fired like anything it gave a breakout by crossing 60 rsi as well as with volume confirmation right so this was aluvalia construction on 30 minutes time frame let's see one more example i'm giving you more and more examples so that you can understand this strategy better right and at the end of uh, uh, these examples i'll show you the current examples which are underway right 
the current uh, stocks which are creating this contraction pattern on which you can take action right you can either do a paper trading or you can take your trades basis your own analysis right i'm not giving tips here to buy the stock or sell the stock but i'm just trying to give you the educational uh, 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 i mean the reference which you can take from here and you can learn from these strategies right so this is again another example of hal which i have taken the trade recently this is a price breakout which i remember i had taken a trade here and then i kept a stop loss at 200 ema and the price fired like anything this is the same setup on 30 minute time frame you can see right in case if you just hide the name of the company you won't be able to understand that which company it is you will see the same chart action on all the charts right so this was hal on 30 minutes time frame this is ganesh ecosphere in case if you uh, load it on the daily time frame you will be able to see the same setup right so we always focus on the same setup right always focus on the process if you follow the same process you will get the same rewards if you follow the wrong strategy you will again um, be facing uh, stop losses every time right so if you follow the right strategy it will give you uh, more profits in future right so th this was a breakout right it went up like anything again it came back and took support on 200 ema again it is going in the uh, same direction right the, let's take a last example of metro brands which I have taken the trade in the past, right? This is the area which was broke out. In fact, this is my existing trade as well. I have taken the entry at this price, 862, and I have kept the stop loss at 579. I have already trailed the stop loss at 200 EMA. Now I am in no, no loss, no profit in this uh, trade because price has already moved up and 200 EMA already came up, right? So the best way to trail the stop loss is to trail it with the 200 EMA in the time frame where you have taken the trade right let's say you you have taken the trade on daily time frame and you wanted to trail the stop loss so your stop loss will be 200 ema of the same time frame on which you have taken the trade in case if you want to play this more aggressive then you can switch to the lower time frame ka stop loss let's say you have taken the trade on daily time frame but you want to trail your stop loss on four hour time frame that means four hour ka time frame 200 will be your stop loss so with this uh, video you will be able to understand this strategy better right so now let's move to the current examples which i have uh, uh, shortlisted for you you can watch these in the upcoming uh, week right so the first example or the first talk which i have shortlisted for you for the next week is extra microwave this is on the 30 minute time frame right i'll just show you no, it is not on the 30 minute time frame. It is on the one hour time frame, right? I have loaded this chart on the one hour time frame. I just drop here the dropping trend line the way I always mark, right? Once price uh, comes out of this area, which is 377, once price uh, close about this uh, 377 uh, price on hourly time frame, you can just simply enter the trade with the 200 EMA as a stop loss, right? Let's move to the next chart, which is trend same setup on hourly time frame in fact it has already given us the breakout but we will trade on monday and we'll keep the stop loss at 200 ema right the third stock is lnt financial holding this is on 30 minutes time frame price has uh, already started going up once price breaks out of this area that means once price break uh, 133.65 on 30 minutes time frame we can enter and we can keep 200 ema as a sl let's move to the next chart these charts are for the next week you can observe the charts uh, keep it in the watch list and just observe this in next week how the charts are working how they are going up in in case breakout happen after this contraction area right so this is the recent resistance which uh, which uh, which has been faced by lakshmi machine on 30 minutes time frame once lakshmi machine chart goes above this on the 30 minutes time frame then you can simply take the trade and 200 EMA will be your stop loss and one day show three will be your target, right? Let's move to the last talk of the day, which is Stranix performance on the 30 minutes time frame. I'll just draw a dropping trend line for you. I'll just connect the highs, right? And here I can see this is a high on which uh, uh, this stock is facing resistance. Once this high is crossed, that means one to one to once this price is reached 30 minutes ke time frame pe and uh, you can take the entry and you can keep the stop loss of 200 ema so friends i hope you would have understood this strategy in a better way right one more comment i have received that people wanted to have 
the view on the indexes or indices as well right so let's take the biggest uh, indice uh, we have in india that is nifty 50 right i just load this indice so whenever you wanted to have the view on the indices or any stock you should always look at the higher time frame so uh, the best way to analyze is take out uh, the higher time frame ka chart the way i'm taking it out now so uh, nifty on one minute one month time frame it is about 200 ema which is simple and all the emas are rising they are going up which simply states that nifty is in a pure uptrend on the monthly time frame let's switch this chart to weekly time frame weekly time frame also it shows the price is going up all the emas are going up only they are in the upward direction right on daily time frame you will be able to see the same thing it is going up but if you would have seen this chart let's assume at this juncture right so you would have seen that price is coming down to take support either from 200 ema of this particular time frame or from next time frame right so at this juncture if you would have seen this chart you would see that price is not going up on the daily time frame daily time frame means is the short term time frame the chart is not going up it is in the downtrend or it is in the sideways right but the higher time frame says that it is going up on monthly as well as on the weekly chart so this is the way you can uh, analyze indices as well right you can take any other indices let's say i am i wanted to see the indices of uh, uh, auto right so i'll just say cnx auto so i have loaded the chart of uh, auto indices right again i'll go on the monthly chart of this you can see all the uh, emas are one one above the other and price is going up on the auto as well on monthly chart i'll load the weekly chart you can see 200 is uh, 200 ema is below the price and price is going up like rocket and on the daily as well it is going up and up right as of now it is taking support at 20 ema once this 20 ema is breached it will take support from 50 ema if this 50 ema is breached it will take support from 100 ema right once this 100 ema is breached it will take support from 200 ema once this 200 ema is breached you can switch to the higher time frame right weekly and then see that price must be at uh, 100 ema or 50 ema of weekly time frame then that uh, uh, ema will give the support right so once support is broken that will act as a resistance and once resistance is broken that will act as a support this is the basic nature of the market i hope you would have learned from this video a lot and i have given you this strategy again in english version so that people who are not able to understand hindi properly they have the language barrier they will be able to understand it better and i hope my other audience who is who used to hear me in hindi would have understood at least they would have noted all the stocks for upcoming week right so let's see how you can uh, make best use of this strategy in your trading career and uh, that's it this was for the day and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, uh, video next week till that time just maintain your stop loss and uh, be disciplined thank you